What's up guys, we're back. And this week we're talking about New Year's resolutions like every other channel on YouTube. But first, make sure you leave a comment for the algorithm, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Turn your notifications on, even though apparently YouTube doesn't give a darn about those and doesn't actually notify you when new videos go up. So you're gonna have to search it out anyway. But hey, I don't run YouTube, could still use the engagement. Many of you are starting a goal for the first time, or maybe you're trying for the hundredth time whatever it is. Let's talk about ways to set goals that actually work. So the first thing is you really need to have one, an overall goal. Now your overall goal may be, you know, I want to build muscle or I want to get to 8% body fat or I want to lose hundred pounds or, or whatever it is, or I want to squat 300 pounds, whatever it is, that's fine to have that long-term goal. But you don't just want to set out with a long-term goal by itself. What you want to do is try and break that goal up into smaller, more manageable pieces. So for example, maybe you say, well, I want to lose hundred pounds. Well, you say in this next eight weeks, I want to lose 15 pounds. And that's kind of a check mark for you because a hundred pounds can seem very intimidating. It's like if you're climbing a mountain and you're just focusing at the top of the mountain, it's going to feel like it's taking forever and you're making no progress. But if you focus on just the next ledge or the next ridge, now you actually feel like you're making some progress. The way they say is the only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step insert your catchphrase, they're all very true. You have to break this up into smaller, more palatable segments because otherwise you're just gonna get very, very frustrated. The other thing I really think is very important when it comes to goal setting is having a very clearly defined why. Why are you doing this? I watched something with a guy who had had a heart attack and he lost 100 pounds afterwards and he had a very clearly defined why. He said, I wanna see my kids graduate college. You know, his kids were like five or six years old. And so when it got hard for him, he just thought about his kids. When he felt like he was gonna fall off the wagon or he had a setback, he thought about his kids. So his kids, being there for his kids, were his why. When I started lifting weights, my why was I wanted to stop getting bullied. When it was hard, when I didn't feel like going in, I remembered all those people who said negative things about me and I used that to push myself to get into the gym. When I was getting ready for a bodybuilding show, I mean, again, this may not be the healthiest way to go about things, but I would remember all the negative things people had said to me and all the things they said I couldn't do. And so when I started to feel like I didn't want to put the work in, I remembered that and that pushed me forward. When I was trying to break the world squat record back in like 2013, 14, 15, my why was I believe I have this in me. I truly believe I can do it. And I also grew up with skinny legs and people who made fun of me for having skinny legs. So whenever the training sessions were hard, whenever I felt really fatigued, I would re replay those things that happened to me. I would replay to myself, my own self-talk of, I believe I can do this. I know I can do this. I want to prove this to myself. So those were all very strong whys. But I see some people, they say, well, I want to lose 10 pounds. Why? Well, I just feel like I should. If you don't have a strong why, you're not gonna be able to stick with a goal. Before you start this goal this year, whatever it is, have a very clearly defined why. Write it down, tattoo it on your forehead, whatever you've gotta do, but make sure you can pull it up and reference it and show it to yourself. And so when things get hard, which they will, when setbacks happen, which they will, when you're frustrated, because you will be, you can pull up that why, you can look at it and you can remind yourself, this is why I'm doing this. And so one of the great phrases is, when you feel like quitting, remind yourself why you started. A lot of people will ask me, Lane, how do you always stay so motivated? How are you always so motivated? And the fact of the matter is, I'm not always motivated. Uh, there are many, many times, whether it's the gym, work, whatnot, I don't feel motivated. So how do I convince myself to do the things I need to do? I'm a little bit robotic, to be honest. Uh, if I have a goal, I know that goal is gonna require work, consistency, and time. And if any of those three things are missing, I am not gonna get it. So to me, it just becomes arithmetic. I need those three things, and I need to do them consistently. Feelings don't need to enter into it. But I have a lot of experience with delaying gratification. I have a lot of experience with goal setting. I have a lot of experience and confidence being able to do that and push through setbacks because I've pushed through so many of them. The only way to develop that confidence is to do hard things. If you don't do hard things, you will not have confidence. If you do hard things, you may still not have confidence. But if you do hard things, and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and you work through setbacks and you work through frustration and you see yourself make progress, it builds in you a confidence that you can get through things. And it builds in you a confidence 
that if you do put the work in, you do put the time in, you do have the right attitude, that you can get to your goal. But many people quit so early in the process that they don't have that confidence and they've never developed it. So what I'll say to you is the only way to develop that confidence is to do hard things. You probably wanna start with a hard thing that's graded for where you're at right now confidence-wise. Most people don't wanna start out with, I'm gonna go set a world squat record. Maybe it's just, you know what, I'm gonna get in the gym three days a week consistently, and I'm gonna do that every week for the next 12 weeks. And that's your goal. That's a very attainable goal. And then once you build that, once you've worked through setbacks, once you've felt like you didn't wanna go and went anyway, and you've done that multiple times, now you can set that next goal up that's maybe a little bit more challenging. Challenging. And then you do it again, and then you do it again, and then you do it again. And it's just like progressive overload with lifting. You will get to the point where you can do things that you never thought possible. I know because I lived it, because I was simply a nerdy kid from Indiana who everybody said would never amount to anything. Pursuing hard things in my life has allowed me to pursue more hard things, and thereby allowed me to pursue more hard things. And it's provided me with some truly epic moments in my life. And I'm not saying that has to be you, but I'm saying the way to truly develop confidence and reach your goals is to put yourself out there, put yourself in the arena and do hard things and not quit. And the best way to be able to do hard things and not quit is to have a really strong why. All right, guys, hope you liked this video. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next week.